Hey, good morning, Map here, Map Investments. So I wanted to do a video on an earnings trade that I did on. I want to say I did it on uh, uh, Wednesday. It was Wednesdays, and it's in a stock called Billy. Um, the only thing that I don't like about this stock, it's uh, a China name. And right now, China names aren't too good. Um, but I wanted to do this video to explain to you trade management. And when I talk about rolling, uh, rolling a stock. So, or rolling a, a, a position that's gone against you. So, this this trade was done on Thursday before the bell. So I did this, this, they reported yesterday before the bell and I did it Wednesday afternoon, this trade. Okay, so it's this one right here, Billy, right? And um, so Billy, uh, they came out, it's maintained the buy at benchmark, right? Um, and also the earnings per share were 66 versus 68 their sales were 1907 minus uh a miss from the estimate of 913 right the share the shares did soar but now they sold off and also the the um billy tops revenue estimate ceo to use up to 10 million of his own money to buy stock back so those 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 are positive actions by this by this um by this CEO. So I want to continue my trade in, in Billy. And um, when I go to Google Focus, it says that Billy is significantly undervalued like a lot of the Chinese names, right? So let's 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 take a look here at what I did in Billy. I'm actually going through my 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 options here that are expiring today and seeing what I need to do to manage them. So I have all these so um so let's take a look at Billy. I did it under this account. And let's go back uh, 30 days. And we're going to look at Billy. Right? So I did this trade for 65 cents credit. I sold the 29, put 27. I sold the 29 and I bought the 27 for four, 65 cents, right? We look at the analyze tab here. And was that Billy? Yeah, Billy. So why isn't it popping up here? All right, so we're going to go Billy, right? And this is how the Analyze tab looks like, right? Uh, Billy is currently trading at 25.62. So it's way, my, 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 my put credit spend is in the money. You see how it says here, in the money? ITM is in the money, right? So and it expires today. So I gotta manage this trade or close it out at a full loss. But I'm not gonna do that. What I, I still have my assumption on Billy that um it's 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 uh it's under value, right? So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna right click here, create rolling order, right? Hit here, and then we're gonna look for about forty. 40 to 49 days so we're gonna probably stick with the april 14th because they're gonna have liquidity there you see that they're pretty liquid here and what we're gonna try and do is roll this into that month for credit so these strikes are not traded in that cycle so i need to look at and develop a plan here so let's see if i sell the 30 25 well let's let, let's see if i could do the 25 22 and a half for a credit so we're going to go sell 22 and 25 here and buy 22 and a half so i cannot do it for a credit i have to pay for this trade it says debit cannot do it for a credit so what can i do i can try and wide it out and go to 20 and see if it'll nope another debit that's not going to work for me so based on what i was seeing um i knew right off the bat that i probably had to go with a 30 25 possibly 
that's going to give me a dollar twenty two credit obviously I'm I'm going to add risk to this trade because I'm winding out my strikes before my risk was two dollars minus the credit I received let's just use round numbers so let's say I collected sixty cents minus two hundred which is two dollars twenty nine minus twenty seven is two dollars minus sixty cents that I collected my risk here is a hundred and forty dollars which is right here my loss you see my loss is one thirty three fifty so the math is right there we do probably have still high IV in the stock which is another thing we need to look at current IV rank is 70 and we could double check here in our in our tasty work platform I always like to compare the two I think it's smart to do that um, I mean, I opened up two screens. I just need one. Okay, so it's opening up. I just want you to see, it, it only makes sense to do this if the IV rank is high. If the IV rank is low, I don't think it's worth doing it. So it's 68. So we still got decent IV rank here in, in, in on Billy. So what I can do is, try and route this let's try for a dollar twenty five obviously now I'm adding to my risk about another uh, three hundred dollars maybe uh, one seventy seven is what's gonna affect my buying power let's see let's ship it out and see if it takes it it took it alright so I extended this trade it took my credit so now we go to our tab here and now you see the order here so now, and, and this is where you need to be uh, meticulous, and this is how you end up winning in your trades, right, and in your positions. So right now, I have $0.65 cent credit and $1.25 credit. So you add these two together, and it gives you $0.05 is uh, $1.30, $1.30 plus $60, $1.90 I have in credits here, right? So my break even, let's say I have two dollars. My break even in Billy right now is uh, the two dollars minus the thirty put twenty eight. So let's see here. We'll look at the analyze tab, and here it is, the new breakdown on Billy on the analyze tab so anything above 28 I I'm, I'm gonna make money for the most part and here is Billy and there's my new position obviously I took a little bit more risk but I think that it's oversold and it should revert to the mean um, today's an ugly day in the stock market it's not a good day um, but it's a good day maybe to go shopping and roll your trades so here's the Billy chart really really bad and all I'm doing is keeping my assumption that Billy will revert to the mean and um, be a profitable day uh, pro a profitable trade eventually um, so how do you manage this well I already managed the one that was against me and now I have 41 days here, and I'll reevaluate this as we get closer to 21 days. So we got about three weeks on this on this trade. So I hope you enjoy uh, my uh, my my position here in Billy, uh, defending it, and get and, and showing you a little bit how to roll your trade and keep the dream alive. I think it's oversold. I think it's undervalued, and it's something that I want to have in 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 my portfolio with foreign exposure. Remember, I'm only tying up 500 bucks. As you buy 100 shares of Billy, um, it's $2,500 pretty much. Or if you buy 100, it's going to take up in margin 1,000. So remember, when we're doing these things, you really want to look at your return on capital. So I hope you enjoy the video. Like it, share, subscribe, comment below. And I'll be doing some extra videos as I manage my trades today. Bye-bye.